Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Fortnite math video. I am Silphan. We are doing the math behind our newest weapons to Fortnite, the silenced pistols. Essentially, the silenced pistols are to the pistol family what the SCAR is to the AR family. Increased damage, increased DPS, increased headshot damage, therefore reduced, reduced reload time. It's really just an improved pistol with that silence. So there is definitely a tactical advantage to going with these higher rarity pistols. And I want to do the math behind the human elements of Fortnite accuracy, fire rate, and see what these pistols really look like when we do the math. So the very first thing that we take a look at is comparing the pistols to other pistols and the revolvers. You will notice that the DPS potential of pistols is almost four times that of revolvers. While revolvers have doubled the instantaneous damage of pistols, they deal more damage per shot. If one can be accurate and fire quickly, pistols can be much, much more lethal. The damage delta really starts to be significant by the 15 to 20 percent accuracy range. The pistols will be a significant advantage over the revolver if 20, 15 to 20 percent accuracy is achieved. Below this, you don't really notice. It's not going to have a significant impact, a relevant impact, which weapon you're using. The epic pistol is a simple step up from the rare pistol, but the legendary pistol provides an actual significant upgrade in, in, in the pistol family. Upgrading rarity in pistols kind of really doesn't do much, but upgrading to legendary pistols might actually provide a tangible benefit, obviously besides that silenced aspect. The DPS between it and other pistols is fairly simple, but what if we compare the pistol to the SMG? Well, the pistol can have relatively the same damage output at an SMG at the same accuracy level. The caveat here is actually achieving the maximum rate of fire with the pistol, which is 6.75 times a second. That sounds like this. That's not bad. I can do that. And if I can do that, you certainly can do that. Now, because I'm sure you can achieve that fire rate, what does the math behind fire rate and accuracy look like? Well, that's what this chart looks like. On the left side, that is damage per second. On the bottom is shots fired per second. And then the various, the various lines that you see are various levels of accuracy. The top line obviously being 100% accurate uh, accuracy, the bottom line being 5% accuracy. DPS can certainly increase with increasing shots per second. That's pretty obvious. But really only with 50% accuracy or more. Accuracy is a gr much greater factor in the damage output of a pistol than rate of fire. If you look here on, on the side, you can see that if you want to get higher up on the damage per second, it's actually best to increase in accuracy rather than shots per second. So accuracy is a far greater factor in the damage output of a pistol than simple rate of fire. So we've looked at just comparing pistols to pistols. We've looked at comparing pistols to SMG. We've looked at accuracy. There's one more thing though that you can do as a human in Fortnite, and that is headshots. What do headshots look like when you start to play around with DPS, overall accuracy, and then headshot accuracy? Well, one always has the potential to double, to, to double the effective damage by landing headshots, increasing instantaneous damage. Simply hitting, hitting somebody's head deals more damage than not. The significance of this increased damage though kind of really only starts to appear around 20% overall accuracy. When we're talking about instantaneous damage, just doing one shot, of course, a headshot is, is simply more damage. So that you do have to take in, into account. Are you peeking around a corner, taking a pot shot and not? Obviously, if you hit your target, well, then that's, that, then, then that's great. But if you hit him on the headshot, that's double the damage. 
The significance of overall DPS, however, really only starts to appear once you are 20% accurate overall. Then it really starts to matter, or it can certainly start to matter whether you're hitting somebody in the head or not. If one has less than about 20% overall accuracy, then simply hitting your target is a much better source of increased damage than headshots. Take a look at you, you know, take a look at, at your stats at the end of a match and see if you were 20% accurate or not. That might be a good indication. Theoretically, one can achieve the same DPS output by having your total accuracy and, and achieving a 100% accuracy rate. That is theoretically. This said, I mean, that's probably not going to happen, so it's probably not a very sound strategy. If one can achieve an increased rate of headshots without losing more than one's than one half of one's accuracy, the damage output will increase. I'm saying that just to give you an idea of how how much can I sacrifice my accuracy and actually landing my rounds on my target to you know hitting somebody in the head. So if one has zero to twenty percent overall accuracy, focus on simply hitting your target. As one gets closer to 40-50% overall accuracy with the, with the pistols, one can focus on landing headshots at the expense of accuracy more and more. If one can achieve above 50% overall accuracy, one can really focus on landing headshots without sacrificing very much significant DPS. And I, I, I want to make that clear, significant DPS. There, it is DPS, but whether that's actually significant in killing your target in a certain amount of time, that is, you know, it's, you're not, you're already dealing a lot of damage, so the significant, the significance of it is kind of reduced. There you guys go, that is a look at the pistols along with accuracy and their headshots. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the silenced pistols. I mean, the tactical advantage is, ob is, is quite obvious, but it's really quite interesting that the legendary pistol is an actual, tangible, significant upgrade over the others. Please like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, share it with the community, of course, guys, subscribe. If you guys like this content, especially if you found it useful, hit that subscribe button because I am absolutely doing more Fortnite math videos in the future. Check the video description for links to my website, merchandise store, and Amazon affiliate link as well. Check out all my social media here. Huge shout out to my Patreon supporters, Amazon, uh, my YouTube sponsors, and my Twitch subscribers who all go out of the way to help me do what's possible. Till next time, like always, step to mystic and positive.